Right everyone, it is Finn here, and of course, welcome back to my channel, where today we're going to be talking about a player who is absolutely phenomenal, and looks like he could be on the move very, very soon. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be talking about Lucas Denier, and where he should move to next. Now, of course, before we dive into the video, this is about the first video in a week where I haven't been talking about AFCON 2021, and of course, although I've been enjoying making those videos, you guys seem to have absolutely loved the videos so far, I know not everyone on this channel is interested in AFCON content so you know what I do want to please everyone and of course I like talking about other content so that is exactly what we're going to be doing today and of course as I said today we're going to be talking about Lucas Denier that is, isn't it Denier hey, who in my opinion one of the best left backs in the Premier League after the likes of Concello and Robertson on his day is the best left back in the Premier League obviously plays for Everton an absolutely phenomenal player but he seems to have fallen out a tiny bit obviously it's come out now that he's kind of fallen out with Rafa Benitez which can you imagine falling out with Rafa Benitez that's how you know the situations become a bit messy and Everton themselves 15th place on the Premier League table only eight points off of the relegation zone they are miles away from European football and looking at Lucas Denier runner up in the Euros a Nations League winner multiple title winner in France and Spain Lucas Denier deserves European football and of course it looks like it is inevitable that within the next few months or the next few weeks even he could be making a big move somewhere else so what we're going to be doing in today's video is i'm going to give you five suggestions of five clubs i think lucas denier should move to clubs that i think will add value to himself and clubs where i think he will add value to now of course i do want you guys to put in the comment section down below where do you think lucas denier should move to of course he himself not having the best season of his career i mean over the last two seasons he was everton's top assist maker scoring seven assists or getting seven assists each in the last two seasons and so far this season zero goals and zero assists in 13 games he needs to move somewhere else and at the age of only 28 years old as we know players play longer than ever nowadays he still has a lot of time to turn things around and prove that he is a world-class left back once more now of course the first club we're going to be talking about out of five clubs is going to be chelsea now of course i'm talking about this club first because it is the obvious one it's absolutely everywhere over the news that he has been linked with the likes of chelsea and to be honest i don't think it's a bad option whatsoever now it's not like chelsea don't have good left backs in their team at the moment they've got the likes of chilwell and they've got the likes of marcus alonso in their squad now unfortunately chilwell as brilliant as he is he is suffering with a long-term injury and the likes of alonso yes can really contribute in terms of assists from here and there and i do feel like he is a good player on his day unfortunately once again just not as reliable as i feel like lucas denier could be for the club i think lucas denier is a better player i think in the long run he is a better player and i think fitting into the chelsea system he would be brilliant obviously chelsea playing in kind of a 3-4-3 kind of from formation from time to time and they've really struggled in that position even playing callum hudson odoi in it from time to time and they're kind of need that wing back playing up front the same way Reese James does on the other side and as I said I just feel like Lucas Denier would fit that system perfectly and of course Chelsea it's inevitable they will be playing Champions League football next season guaranteed almost and I just feel like Lucas Denier deserves Champions League football now jumping on to the second club I think he should join I think Inter Milan is a really really good one to be honest with you currently first place in the Serie A now once again kind of similar to Chelsea in terms of the formation they play they kind of play a 3-5-2 formation with two strikers up front and a left mid and a right mid now of course although they don't have fullbacks in their system on the right hand side they do play Denzel Dumfries who is traditionally a right back and I feel like looking at Lucas Denier he could do a very similar kind of job on that left hand side of course once again in terms of competition we do have the likes of Perisic and Kolarov now looking at Perisic once again a very very remarkable player is 32 years old now though four goals and one assist in 17 games absolutely not bad whatsoever but once again Kolarov the other option they have there 36 years old coming towards the end of his career I just think Lucas Denier if you moved him to Inter Milan I feel like his style of play in terms of being to track back defensively which he has been remarkable for Everton defensively this season one of their top three tackle makers in the Premier League this season I feel like defensively and attacking wise would just fit into Milan's system 
perfectly. As I said, top of the Serie A table, looks like they might win the title this season. And once again, Lucas Denier might want to pick up another title here and there. Obviously, he has played in the Serie A before with AS Roma, and I feel like this is his opportunity to return to the league and possibly pick up a trophy. Once again, remarkable player, and I think he'll just do very, very well in this system. Whether he plays as a left mid, a left winger, left wing back, left back, I think he can fit anywhere in that system, and I just think he'll do really, really well in this kind of team. Especially because, as we know, getting crosses into the box, he's very, very good at free kicks and set pieces, and knowing that there are some brilliant set piece takers at Inter Milan already, especially in terms of receiving set pieces like Martinez and Dzeko, players like that. Once again, I just feel like Lucas Denia would fit the system perfectly. Now moving on to the third team, it is going to be a former team Lucas Denia played for and it is going to be PSG, a team where he won eight trophies in three years there. I mean, genuinely, that's where he's picked up majority of the trophies in his career. Obviously, in terms of France in general, he's had success in terms of the national team and at club level and I would say although PSG are very very strong everywhere they've got a super club at the moment if you had to point out one weak spot on their team it might still be their left back position now it's not like they don't have quality left back options they've obviously got the likes of Kazawa who seems to be the main left back option at the moment playing majority of the games I just feel like Lucas Denier is miles ahead of him once again, kind of playing in that assist maker role can really contribute in terms of attacking play. And when you've got attackers like Neymar, Messi and Mbappe up front, you just know you're going to get a good handful or two of assists. I feel like if Lucas Denier moved to PhD, you could genuinely see him get 10 assists a season. I think that's the kind of system and team it works for. And I think it would be perfect if he moved back to his old club. As I said, other left back options, they do have the likes of Bernat. Once again, not a bad left back option, but definitely not the best at the club. And they've obviously you got the likes of Mendes who is on loan. Once again, a really, really good young Portuguese player only out on loan there. I think he's got a brilliant bright future ahead of him. But once again, for right now, I feel like Lucas Denier would just fit the system perfectly. Now moving on to the fourth team, the second last team. It is going to be another Premier League team and obviously another club he's been linked to in the likes of Newcastle United, who it just seems has signed the likes of Kieran Trippier. It hasn't been confirmed yet, but if they get two solid attacking fullback options, I feel like they would absolutely transform Newcastle United. Obviously, we are kind of in the era, the new era of Newcastle United, the Magpies, where they could maybe dominate the Premier League one day. After their gigantic financial takeover this team could build an absolute super team and I do feel like Lucas Denier could be a part of that obviously my only worry is the fact that they are currently in the relegation zone 19th place in the Premier League and they will be looking to escape that saying that Newcastle United are only eight points behind Everton so it's not absolutely impossible for them to be able to catch up once again it just depends if Lucas Denier wants to take that risk but to be honest with you I can see within three four five years time I can go almost guarantee you, Newcastle United will be ahead of Everton. As I said, I feel like he would just really, really suit this Newcastle United system. They obviously use their fullbacks quite a bit in attacking areas, something that Lucas Denier is obviously very, very familiar and comfortable with. Their current left-back options includes the likes of Matt Ritchie, who, don't get me wrong, is an absolutely fantastic player, but once again, Lucas Denier is just a few levels ahead of him, or quite a few, a uh, lot of levels ahead of him. Obviously, the other left-back option would be the likes of Jamal Lewis, once again, really promising young player, but Lucas Denier, once again, if you want results now, you are going to end up going with him. As I said, he has been linked for Newcastle United, they've even included cash amounts, a plus long staff into the deal, so whether that's something that actually ends up happening, I guess we'll have to wait and see. As I said, if you've got Denier and Trippier in the squad, once again, I think that's a great step for Newcastle United. Now looking at the final team, I think that Lucas Denier should move to if he really wants to propel his career forwards. Now I'm not going to lie, I was kind of juggling this between two teams. Once again, a former team he could move to or a team that he is linked to at the moment. And at the end of the day, I've decided to go for West Ham United. Now before I explain that option, let me quickly explain the other team that I was going to go for. I was considering maybe FC Barcelona. Obviously a former 
former team of Lucas Denier, but at the end of the day, they've still got Jordi Alba in the left back position. And although he is 32 years old, still getting a good handful or handful and a half of assists every single season, still a very capable player. We saw that at the Euros, and I just feel like that's the least of their problems when it comes to replacing players. And obviously, at the end of the day, Lucas Denier is currently worth about 30 million pounds, and you do have to look at teams that will be able to afford him. And at the moment, after spending about 55 million pounds on foreign Torres, which I don't know where they got that money from, I just don't see them having the cash for Lucas Denier. As I said, looking at all five of these clubs, you do need to look at teams that will be able to afford Lucas Denier. And as I said, I think West Ham United would be a solid, solid option. Obviously, looking at their current left back situation, they do have the likes of Aaron Cresswell and they do have the likes of Matsu Aku. Now, once again, don't get me wrong, I think Cresswell is an absolutely brilliant player, has been a brilliant servant to the club. In terms of assists, in terms of set pieces, he has absolutely controlled the game for the last two, three years for West Ham United. Currently 32 years old. Once again, I just feel like Denier is an upgrade to him and is a very, very good replacement. I do feel like he could fit into that position quite easily. Obviously, West Ham United look like they could compete for Champions Champions League football this season and I feel like if you've got Dinier on one side and you've got the likes of uh, Soufal on the right side I feel like those two fullbacks really work to, uh, well together hand in hand once again nothing disrespectful to Cresswell I feel like he is one of those players that could move to Newcastle United if they wanted a player like him but once again I just feel like Lucas Dinier would do really really well in the system especially considering West Ham as I said competing for a Champions League spot and they are going to have to level up they are going to have to have world-class players in every position if they want that as I said Cresswell probably a good six and a half to seven out of ten on most weeks but as we know Lucas Dinier can be a solid eight to eight and a half other weeks but that ladies and gentlemen those are the five clubs i think lucas denier should move to if he leaves everton as i said it looks highly likely at the moment although he's been brilliant for the club even winning everton's play of the season about two three years ago unfortunately the situation with the club in general is not looking good it's nothing bad about lucas denier the club just doesn't seem to be performing well at the moment they are suffering with injuries, whether that's the problem or not. We'll have to wait and see for Calvert-Lewin to come back at full force. But unfortunately, as I said, Everton not doing well. And I just feel like Lucas Denier deserves so much more. Guys, I hope you ended up enjoying this video. Of course, if you did end up enjoying, make sure to hit that like button down below. Can we please get this video to 20 likes? Along with subscribing. Now, once again, the growth on this channel has been insane as of late. Especially with the AppCon content I've been releasing. Once again, if you haven't checked that out, make sure to check that out but yeah i have been enjoying that of course first premier league video in quite a while and i do promise guys i really do premier league predictions will be coming your way very very soon once more i promise i will be returning but lucas denier once again where should he move to let me know in the comment section down below where you guys think guys this has been fun fy double in cheers easy that is isn't it denier